Auto Line at CES is brought to you by ETAS, Gentex, Intrepid Control Systems, Magna, and by Yazaki Innovations. So Ken Ramirez is the EVP of, what is it exactly, Ken? You're, you're doing all this different hydrogen stuff in Hyundai right now and showing it here at CES. It's a long title, so get ready for it. John. Okay, but let's hear it. First, I want to say thank you, John, for having us on AutoLine, and I think it's uh, really a great opportunity. We're fans of your AutoLine daily and the, the history of, of that. You're the first one doing this daily blog, so I'm very happy for myself to be a chance to, to have a chance to be with you. So for, for Hyundai, it's really a great pleasure to be at CES 2024 and express our vision for the future and what we already made happen today, make real today. Our uh, expression of it is ease every way. You may have seen it in our communications. And this is powered by hydrogen and driven by software. Because we're expressing our view uh, around two main areas. One of them is hydrogen power, hydrogen energy, and all associated with hydrogen. And the second one is software-defined vehicles. I will focus more on the hydrogen side, as my title is the EVP of Global Commercial Vehicles and Hydrogen Business Division, so long title. But what we do is the intersection of mobility and energy, and what we are also expressing more as H2 grid. H2, you may recall, is our brand for hydrogen fuel cell systems that we launched in 2020. And we're expanding the meaning of that brand, H2, to be all the elements of the hydrogen value chain. Because we are, I would say not arrogantly, but confidently, um, present in all the areas. For our history of 56 years in the company, 25 of those who have been developing hydrogen. So we're the first ones to have a mass-produced hydrogen fuel cell vehicle, passenger car, and we're also the leaders and the pioneers in commercial vehicles, buses and uh, heavy-duty trucks. We do have launched for US a class 8 6x4 tractor. We introduced it in LA last year. Um, and this vehicle is hydrogen fuel cell powered because hydrogen is such a good solution for high density, energy density application with lower weight and higher uh, energy uh, for long haul. So this is really the area where we have more uh, and more presence and we are expressing now our presence expanded to all the areas of hydrogen including production. You see in our uh, presence here about waste to hydrogen, taking food waste uh, into uh, producing hydrogen for bi biogas, and also plastics to hydrogen. We're taking non-recyclable plastics and processed as proprietary to then produce clean hydrogen, and also green hydrogen through electrolysis. So all these areas we produce hydrogen, also uh, transport, and then offtake. In offtake, we have also Hyundai Steel, which will use hydrogen for uh, iron ore reduction, so making green steel. Uh, and through all this, we'll be major off-takers as well. So we can say that we are more than an energy company. We are playing in all the areas of the value chain of hydrogen, which we truly see as the energy carrier of the future. It is, as we said, safe. It is practical. It's also uh, fair. It uh, breaks down barriers of geographic difference where you have oil or not oil. In this case, hydrogen can be produced anywhere in the world. And interestingly, in the Southern Hemisphere, you have an abundance of renewable energies. I know we both have an interest in this area. Um, and there you have a lot of solar and wind renewable energies more than what you consume. You can use that energy to produce green hydrogen completely clean and, uh, and transport it. And you know, hydrogen has the highest energy density of any uh, substance, 33 kilowatt hours per kilogram. And when you press it, for our trucks we do a 700 bar, you have a density of, volumetric density of 42 kilograms per cubic meter. So in one cubic meter, you have 42 kilograms of weight, but it's more than 1.3 megawatt hours of energy. And that's what makes it so practical. And as long as there's no leakage, that energy stays forever. There's no decay. So I, I think I hit you with many, many, too many points, but it's uh, what we're excited about. Well, here's one more point. 
Hyundai, of course, has been working mm -hmm. on hydrogen and fuel cells for quite a while, but disparate parts of the company were working on it. You're pulling this all together, right? So describe what was and what will be. That's a very good point. So Hyundai is a large conglomerate, Hyundai Motor Group. The word, one word Hyundai means a lot. Uh, from even uh, construction, even building nuclear plants, uh, to transportation and other areas. Um, and, and so bringing it all together is, is really the asset that we can have uh, more than any other company. If we think we think in a humble way that we are uh, especially positioned for that. But it's true that inside the company, you have all these different affiliates. So this uh, uh, mission that we've taken, hydrogen has become a catalyst to bring us together. It's a fiber that unites us. It's the common point that can bring all the yeah, different elements nice. of the company aligned to one mission, which is bringing in there to be a major player in the energy transition through hydrogen in everything we do. Now that is, of course, a big task, but it brings us together and commercial vehicles is one way to accelerate that because the offtake of commercial vehicles is higher and you can do that with fleets and operate quite efficiently. So we bring it together with one division called the Global Commercial Vehicle and Hydrogen Business Division, bringing also fuel cell H2 brand and expanding that to H2 as a brand for all the knowledge of hydrogen. Very good. Ken, thanks for making, making the case for hydrogen. <laughs> it's my pleasure and it's something I'm very passionate about and we at Hyundai really believe in it. It's, it's, it's a great, great uh, chance to see you, John, and a pleasure to meet you. Thank you. Thank you. At CES January 9th through 12th, 2024, Intrepid's looking forward to seeing you at our booth 3666 Las Vegas Convention Center in the West Hall. We'll be demonstrating the latest and greatest in the software-defined vehicles and zonal architectures, automotive Ethernet technologies like 10Base T1S and multi-gigabit. See you at CES 2024 Las Vegas Convention Center in West Hall booth 3666 or visit intrepidcs.com sales.